it's a very strange grey area. It's technically it's not illegal to tattoo unlicensed at home if you're not taking any money for it. But everyone does take money for it and then it becomes illegal. So my name is Byron Perman, I work at Enigma Tattoo Studio as a tattooist. So I've been licensed as a tattooist just coming up two years um, and served sort of about a two and a half, three year apprenticeship before that. Without a clean studio, you can't the best tattooist in the world work in there, but if you're running the risk of giving people infections, it's, it's not good. The, the cleanliness aspect of tattooing is, is very, very important. I've heard horror stories about people tattooing off the backs of fridges, tops of fridges and kitchens and things like that. And uh, yeah, it just horrifies me, it makes my skin crawl. It's a very strange grey area. It's technically, it's not illegal to tattoo unlicensed at home if you're not taking any money for it but everyone does take money for it and then it becomes illegal um, from the the moral standpoint i'd be concerned that if they're not willing it's not a huge amount of money to get a license um, you can get your home licensed as a premises and it's not a massive amount of money to do that if you're not willing to go through those hopes i'd be concerned with what other steps you're dodging Do you have any tattoos yourself? I do. I have a chest piece and half a sleeve. I'd rather know that if I'm getting a good tattoo that yes I might be paying a bit more money and I might be paying a couple of hundred but if I know I'm getting a good tattoo out of it it's worth it just going to, I don't like I just like going to the studio or the shop it's my personal preference. No, I think for something like that especially because it's permanent it's better to go pay the little extra and go with someone who's licensed and has knowledge in that area. I would definitely never trust anybody that is not a professional, um, especially when it comes to my skin because it's there and it's going to be permanent. No, no, not at all. That's not for me. Um, it has to be the safest place. It has to be. I don't care how much it is. I'll pay the odds to get a good tattoo in a safe, clean, and hygienic place. <laughs> Do you have any tattoos yourself? Uh, yeah, I've got one on my back. I, I would always go to a licensed tattooist. Like that's it's the safest place. Um, it, it's the, 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 the license for a reason. They're clearly uh, like capable of being able to change needles and uh, be, keep you safe and know what they're doing. For me, though, the best place thing to do is to walk into a shop. We're not scary. We might all look scary and horrible, but we're not. We're all just human beings. Come in, walk in, have a chat, and then you get something that's that's good for you.